Hello and welcome to Games with Hank. So it's happening, the Stanley Parable. I've only gotten a million billion comments about this, so I guess I'm gonna do it. Diving right in. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I... am I Stanley? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Oh, wow, that's employee a lot of employees. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room guy sounds like Kurtz Gazat. and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Push it, Stanley! Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, yeah. telling him what buttons to push, it's like how lost. long to push them, and in what order. Yeah. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. That sounds and terrible! Others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though oh, he had been made exactly for this job, and Stanley was happy. Oh, good. Until? And then one day, something oh. very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one oh. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Oh. But as he came oh. to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Ooh, I'm fast. Stanley's fast. Just clicking. Oh! Oh! Hello? No, it's locked now. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it I mean? I can see that! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed Who a memo. Who farted? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I can't find a trace of my co-workers. What does your mug say? Who farted? <laughs> Apparently that's the standard issue, who farted mug. Everybody gets who farted mugs. Oh, this one's, I hate Mondays. Who farted? I hate Mondays. Who farted? That one just says T, I think. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, that he post? entered the door on his left. I, I did? What if I rebel? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Uh -oh. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh. Uh, for... I should be... Should I be paying attention to things? For B9? Well, they, they hadn't had... Maybe that's an 8. I don't know. 450... Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. This is a nice really employee lounge. worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. So Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. What does it say? Tea? No. What does it say? Fuel! It says yes. fuel. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Yeah. Room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. I was really looking at the mugs, Dorkwad. Come on. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open <laughs> door on his left. I don't know if I want to do what you tell me to do, mister. Stanley oh. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible <laughs> he wasn't fired years ago. Oh, well, this place is dangerous looking. Look, Stanley, oh, we're moving. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Hey, don't worry I'm not about your it. Enemy. Really, I'm not. I realize I've... that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. What? But the fact is that the story has been about no What? Really? Hey! I'm in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To I show don't know you what you want. something beautiful. Oh, Look, let beautiful. Let me prove it. Let me prove oh, that I'm should on be an your Oculus side. Game. Give me okay. a chance. Okay. 
How are you gonna do that? What's your name? Jeff? Is it Jeff? That door closed. Now listen carefully, this is important. Yes, yes. Stanley walked through the red door. But so far I've done the exact opposite of everything you've told me to do, so I feel like continuing to do that. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Wait, what? You just... I got further I that time. I don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. You have a surprising amount of control over the universe, sir. I guess I'm going to oh, go through the red God door. You are willing to listen to me. Well, you I didn't really have any I other really choice. I have wanted you to be happy all this time. Well, I'm not the any problem happier is all now. These choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running. Wait a just second. the way you're doing right now. Yeah, Don't I'm going around the circle. you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I, I just... I wanted to stop. No I would, one's dying. We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. I'm not stopping. Let me show you. What is it? Oh, it's that door. What about over here? Ha ha ha! It's dark. It's hmm. dark. Oh, what do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? I don't know, mister. Oh. What is it? Oh! Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just yeah. stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> well, I mean, that's your feeling, and I'm not going to take that away from you. But I might just leave. Oh, no, they just wait. did the drywall. Where are you going? Here. I'm, uh, uh, they just did the drywall. They have a FedEx label and somebody's child's art. So that's a little sad. That makes me sad. Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose How all of this. How would I hurt myself? And there's stairs, man. You think I'm gonna Please, trip? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. What are you, what's wrong with you, sir? Oh, you want me to die? What? Don't take what from you, you... Wait a second. I'm confused. Why don't you open this door, Mr. Om Omnipresent Entity? Is that... Is that... Do I have another choice besides death? I mean... I, I like doing things you don't tell me to do, but I don't like death. Um, and so I kind of not going to do that, I think. I'm gonna go back to this beautiful land. Good, good. We yeah. can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Mm, just, just stay here. Forever? I mean, I don't think I can be at peace the same way you can be, man. You, could I just jump off of this? No, I can't. Yeah, this is boring. I'm gonna go jump off the stairs. No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. We didn't achieve anything! You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? I don't know, you seem to want me to do it. I'm petulant. Let's just... Let's just not even think about it. Let's just be like, Please, all right. Please, think- No! Oh. Fine! See? Thank God. You li- No. No, no, what are you doing, Stanley? Please, what? I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. What were if you, you before? die, we'll both go back. Why are Tell you Tell me doing more. This? Tell me more about you. We only have one choice. Stanley? Yes. Let's go back to the other room. Shush, Jeff. Oh my god. Is What's this wrong? really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw it's... yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were I'm not really willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? I don't know. That's not really, you know. I can't Maybe talk. You're just getting a kick out of it. I don't oh. know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. 
Well, I, I guess that was too much to ask. I don't know. I feel it like looks uh, like you wanted to make a choice after all. Feels like you know me well, better than I know you. Yours. Oh man. Okay. Is it over? Oh. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Well, I don't know what's happening at all. But that was episode one of the Stanley Parable on Games with Hank. We'll be continuing exactly from here next time on the Stanley Parable on Games with Hank. The FDBA.